Greetings, love, posse. Most black people hate black people. Why? Trauma. Trauma. Dr. Gabor Mati says that trauma is not what happened to you. Trauma is the wound that you sustained. I can relate to the wound that I have sustained in this body, walking around in this perceived reality as what we call a black person. About 21 years ago, I moved to Baltimore, Maryland. And Baltimore is approximately 75% black African-American people. And I would see other black people. And within my body, I would tense up. I would get anxious, nervous, afraid. Why am I afraid of people who look like me? At the time, I didn't know, but I was curious. So I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. Where is this fear coming from? Fear of people who look like me. And finally, I got it. I've been conditioned to fear people who look like me. Just like everyone else, we've all been conditioned to fear what we call black people. And the wound, the wound of being dehumanized, demonized, criminalized, debutified, dissected, has caused an intense, deep, deep wound. Trauma, ancestral trauma, that's encoded in our DNA, that's in our cellular memory, persists within black people. So most black people hate black people because when we see ourselves, this is mirror work, when we see our own shadow, if you are familiar with shadow work, you understand that our shadow are those aspects of ourselves that we hate, we find disgusting, we are ashamed of. And black people, most black people are ashamed of themselves. They're ashamed of their nose. They're ashamed of their lips. They're ashamed of their color, especially if it's midnight or what we call in our community, blue black. Black people are triggered when they see themselves in the mirror, other black people, right? Because they see what they've been conditioned to see. They see another so-called subhuman. They see another ugly person. Remember the color purple, the line? that I believe Suge said to the character of Whoopi Goldberg, you show is ugly. Most black people feel that they're ugly because in this perceived reality, this social construct, we've been conditioned to believe that black people are not 
beauty, beautiful. Black people see their shadow physically, psychically. They see another, what we call black person. And all of the wound, the pain comes rushing up. And with that pain comes anger, comes hate, comes this, I have to destroy this. I have to get away from this. It affects so many black people psychically that they are oblivious, that they completely deny that they are in the skin that they're in. And they subconsciously attempt work to destroy black people. Killing black people. See, this trauma is also the cause of black on black crime. Most black people hate black people because they're disgusted, they're ashamed when they see other black people because of self-hate. They hate themselves so much. that they want to do everything possible to destroy what they hate. Other black people. It's true, true mirror shadow work. The wounds that black people have sustained generation after generation since our ancestors were stolen, chained on ships and brought across the middle passage, got here and stripped of their language, religion, their names, put on auction blocks and dissected white men looking in their mouth and their genitals, stripping them down naked, black women being raped, carrying the seed of the rapist, the colonizer, for 400 years. Plus, to this day, the trauma continues. And no amount of legislation will cure, heal the wounds of trauma. It will take therapy and counseling. It will take doing inner work. It will take soul searching. But at least the government could do, can do, is say, I'm sorry. Not even Obama, a so-called black man, apologized from his place and position because his position was more important than saying, I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, I'm sorry. And black people know what I'm about to say. You can go into a store or walk on the street and see another black person. And most of the time, they will turn their head and act as if you're invisible. The invisible man.
Black people hate black people. Because most black people hate themselves. I've healed my wound. That's why I can share this with you. Black people, if you're watching this, you are beautiful. You are people of the earth, like our brown and red brothers and sisters. We are people of the earth. We are great, magnificent, God's children. All life comes from God. We've just been told that we don't. But when you look in the mirror, you will see that you are the color of the earth. We've been conditioned to hate ourselves. We've agreed, we've endorsed this hate. We may not have created this perceived reality, these social constructs, but we've subscribed to them. We've agreed to them. We've agreed that we are the menace, menaces to society. But it's false. It's a lie. It's a constructed narrative. We are people of the earth. I challenge you to do the inner work. I challenge you to seek the assistance of professionals. Loving, compassionate professionals. Ask them, do you bear any resentment of black people? We have to stop this black on black hate, crime. We have to heal our wounds because they are wounds. They can be healed and it's time. It's time to see your beauty. It's time to understand that your melanin is powerful. It's time to appreciate your nose and your lips and your hair. Chris Rock made a movie, Good Hair. Boy, we have some psychological issues and wounds around the hair. Our hair is not nappy. It's curly, curly. <laughs> it's the hair of Jesus as written in the Bible. Jesus so-called had hair of lamb's wool. If you've ever seen a lamb, you know that the hair of a lamb is thick curls, curly, curly, like our hair. Stop being ashamed of your hair. Stop demonizing other black people. Pulling them down. Deal with your shit, black people. Love yourself. Love who you are. God loves you. God loves you. That's why you're here. That's why you were created. You were created out of love. And no matter what you do, you can't change your hair, you can cut it off. your nose, 
you can get a nose job. You can't change your lips, no matter what you try to do. You still be who you are. You'll still be recognizable in the world as what we call a black person because we can't change our skin color. Love who you are. Celebrate yourself. Love is the answer. Accept the skin you're in. Accept the skin you're in. I love you. God loves you. You are loved. We're all loved. We've been bamboozled, black people. It's time to wake up. It's time to look in the mirror and see the reflection of God. That's how I see us, reflections of God. That's how I see all people. I love myself, therefore I love you. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. Hmm. I appreciate you. If this content was meaningful and helpful, please share, like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. Also, if you are into tapping, please check out my three tapping books. They're on Amazon and at your local bookstore, also on my website. Tap that, tap that too, healing the death trauma, and tap tap Tracy's hair. God made it special. Little Tracy, five-year-old little Tracy, black girl, bullied at school because of her hair. And her brother teaches her tapping to help her process her feelings, her wounds. Hmm. Also, if you're into meditation and art, check out my website. If you are looking for a spiritual counselor, again, go to my website. I am a spiritual counselor. Whatever you're doing today, every day, as you're walking on this earth, remember to love yourself, to love each other. It begins with acknowledgement of your wounds and then seeking help and accepting who you are. Namaste. Namaste.